So feel free to keep your cameras on. Um, I might be able, I've got a big monitor here, so I'm just looking off to the side every now and then here. Um, so I can see you all pretty clearly. Um, I'll probably be doing most of the class with you though. Uh, I think it'll be easier um, just in case you need a visual. Um, especially maybe my queuing, I start to get a bit of, you know, baby brain and forget what an arm is called. <laughs> um, so I'll, I'll have that visual going for you. Um, obviously, most of you know that I'm uh, 12 weeks postpartum now. Um, so I'll be taking, I'll demonstrate some, some things, but then I'll probably back off as we go on, but you take the flows that suit you. For example, I might end up doing Cobra instead of upward facing dog. Um, so today we're doing our first yoga Lattes class. Um, so it's a mixture of yoga and Pilates, if you're not sure what that is. Uh, most of you, when I put out, um, uh, the question of whether you want a class uh, said you wanted a combo. And I actually really love teaching this style of class because I think that they both, both forms of movement really support each other. So um, today we will probably, we can probably get started. It's 10, it's not 10 on the dot. So we'll get started um, just maybe lying down. So you can start from a really nice place. If you prefer to sit or stay seated, that's also fine. But otherwise, making your way down onto your back. And then once you're there on your back, we'll start in a constructive rest. So your feet will be on the ground with your knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Feet are hip distance apart. And you can rest your hands on your body if you like, or you can rest your hands out to the side. Now, once you've found your position, if it feels okay for you, close down your eyes. Now start to focus on your breath. So today I thought we would focus on the idea of building from the ground up. So this could be just an intention or something that we come back to throughout the class of working around building from our foundations. I quite like how Bernie Clark describes it in his book, Your Body, Your Yoga. And this, what he says is it actually makes more sense for it to build from inside out. So he goes on to talk about how often in classes we focus a lot on our hand placement and foot placement. Um, but actually, if we have a lot of awareness around our hands and feet, we can sometimes forget about the rest of our body. And for really strong and supported exercises and poses, we do really need to think about how our posture is working through um, each movement or exercise. So having this awareness of every movement coming from your core or center out and building from there, I really like that, that concept. So it's just a different perspective on that sort of um, metaphor. And I thought we'd start with just a little bit of breath work to work on that theme. So if you can, please place your hands high up on your chest. And I'm just gonna ask you to breathe into where you feel your hands, so right up high on your chest. And this can be in or out through the nose. So just easy breathing. 
And just notice how that feels when you're breathing high up in your chest. And then we're going to compare that to breathing deep down in our belly. So you can take your hands now quite low underneath your belly button and just take several breaths there, trying to lift your hands. So a deep belly breath. And noticing how that feels. Comparing those two types of breathing. And now, after you've done a few breaths there, take your hands to the sides of your ribs. So you can wrap your fingers around your rib cage and see if you can breathe laterally, breathing into the sides of your ribs. So as you're breathing into the sides of your ribs here now, take note of how your core might be engaging here, especially as you exhale. So perhaps finding the sensation of your waist actually narrowing. So this is a type of Pilates breath, lateral breathing. And if possible, see if you can explore this type of breathing as we move into the different shapes and the different exercises. It's a really deep, supportive breath that connects to your center. Just a couple more moments to find that. And then when you're ready, we'll just roll to our sides and make our way up onto your knees. Anybody that has sensitive knees, feel free to fold up your mat and create a little bit of cushioning there. Um, but we won't be here for too long, so hopefully you'll be fine. So on top of your knees, you'll take your hands out wide to the sides and just hold them out to the sides for the moment. Finding length through your spine. We're going to take an exhale and begin to tuck the tailbone under so you're rounding through your spine. Your chin can then tuck as well. Then you'll inhale, open the chest up towards the ceiling, trying to take a back bend through the upper back. So we go exhale, scoop round, draw your abdominals in, navel to spine. Inhale, open the chest upward towards the ceiling. Adding in your arms, you're going to scoop your arms forward and round. <sighs> Inhale, lift them up and open. Exhale, scoop round. Inhale, lift up. Breastbone lifts upwards towards the ceiling. So we're trying to stay engaged through our abdominals the whole time, just gently. Let's take one more. Scoop and round. And lift it open. Hands are going to slide forward into a child's pose. So relax your forehead down. Focus more on bringing your hip bones down towards your heels. So maybe the forehead doesn't necessarily touch the ground. And then here we're going to walk our hands gently towards the right. So you'll place your left hand perhaps on top of your right hand. We'll keep your hands separate, whatever feels best. We're just looking for a little side bend. Breathe into the left side of your rib cage. Remembering that idea of lateral breath. And then gently walk your hands back through center and we'll move over towards the other side. Just a little stretch through the right side of your body. Maybe the right hand is placed on top of the left. And then gradually making your way back to center. Lifting up onto all fours, four point kneel. Wrists are roughly underneath your shoulders, knees are roughly underneath your hips. And we're just going to take a couple of cat cows, inhaling to arch your spine, 
Exhaling to scoop and round. If I do have any preggy bellies here, this is a movement you can come to when we come into lying down onto our bellies. Otherwise, we'll come all down onto our bellies. So once again, we're focusing on that center work, core engaged as you round. Inhale, allowing the breastbone to pull forward as you lift your gaze. Exhale, scoop round. Inhale to arch your back. Feel your shoulder blades glide down your spine as that breastbone pulls forward. And last one. When you're ready, tuck your toes, lift up downward facing dog. So take a moment here just to create some movement, any movement that might feel nice for you to become accustomed to this new shape. So you might like to move your hips side to side. Maybe you're pedaling out through your knees, your heels. Maybe you're shifting back and forward, just gently warming up through the wrists. And then we'll all arrive in a moment of stillness here to find the shape. So once again, coming back to your center, see if you can draw your navel back towards your spine. Your knees might stay a little bent. Your arms will stay straight, pressing down into the ground. So not everybody can get their heels down to the ground. But if you can, that's fine. You can keep working towards stretching out through the backs of your legs. Here we're going to take an inhale. Now rise up as high as you can onto your toes. Exhale, press the heels down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to press down. Going there with a little bit of resistance as you push your heels down towards the earth. And last one. Holding it here. Inhale, you float your right leg up to three-legged dog. Pausing here. Your pelvis is square, and we're going to bend at that right knee. So you're making a 90-degree angle roughly behind that right knee. Can you press your knee up as high as you can so you feel engagement through the back of the leg, so your hamstring and glute muscles? Then we're going to draw that right knee back down towards the left knee, keeping the knee bent, and then push it back up. Find that engagement. Control down and press back up. Two more times. Down. Exhale, press up. Last time. Down and press up. Hold. Lift up as high as you can onto your left toes. Look forward and draw your right knee in towards your chest. You're stepping your foot down in between your hands. Come up onto your fingertips to protect your wrists. Drop the back knee down towards the ground, untuck your toe. Tuck your chin, bind your abdominals, draw the navel back to the spine, and now can you roll up like a spinal roll to come into your low lunge. Inhale as you lift your hands up towards the ceiling. Preggy bellies, you're going to take an open twist. So taking your left hand back behind you, right hand forward. Everybody else, can you please take a closed twist? Left hand forward, right hand back. So you're twisting towards your right. The back hand is going to find the back of your thigh and you're taking a little twisted back bend. Come back to your twist and hold. Elongate your spine as much as you can and perhaps here see if you can take a little bit of a deeper twist looking past your back hand. Ring out your waist. Windmill both hands down towards the ground. And then you're stepping your knee back into your four point kneel, pausing here. Draw the abdominals in, tuck your toes, hover your knees just maybe one inch off the ground. As you're doing this, you're pulling your abdominals in. We're taking a tap down with your knees and a little lift up, a little tap down and a little lift up. As you're doing your knee taps, can you keep your collarbones broad? Feel as though your shoulder blades are gliding down your back. 
and you've got that support with your core. Awesome work, everyone. Looking good. Now, last tap here we hold, lower your knees down to the ground, untuck your toes, sit back onto your heels, sitting up. Hands come back out to the sides. We're going to exhale, scoop round. This time, we're going to press up, stand up onto your knees, tuck your tailbone, squeeze your backside, lift your hands. Open the chest to the ceiling. We lower the hips to heels, exhale, scoop round. Inhale, pull up and open the chest. Two more times. Exhale, scoop round. Inhale, tuck your tailbone, wave the spine up. Last time, exhale. And inhale, rise on all the way on up. Hands are going to come back straight to your full point kneel. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward dog. Come back to your breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Perhaps sigh it out. Inhale, float your left leg up to three-legged dog. Once again, you're going to bend at that knee, keep the foot flexed. Pelvis is square, abdominals are engaged. Start to drop that knee down towards your right knee, then push that heel upwards towards the ceiling to find the back of your hamstring and glutes. We go, control the lower, exhale, push up. Inhale down, exhale, push up. Last one here. Press on up, hold. Lift up high onto your right toes. Look forward and draw that knee all the way into your chest. Step your foot down, come up onto your fingertips. Melt the back knee down. Untuck your toes, tuck your chin, roll on up, rise on up, low lunge. Preggy bellies, remember you're taking your open twist. Everybody lengthen your tailbone downwards towards your back knee. Feel the spine elongate. Exhale, twist to your left. So close twist. Backhand finds back of thigh, taking it all the way back. Little twisted back bend. We hold in our twist for a moment, get super long through your spine, wring out your waist and see if you can take that gaze past your backhand. Both hands find the floor. Step it back into your four point kneel. Here we halt. Can you please try to screw your hands into the mat as if you're trying to spin your fingers towards your pinkies? So feel that groundedness through your hands. Find your abdominals. And here now, you're going to bring your chest in between your hands. Your elbows are pointing straight back behind you. Push the floor away. We do that three more times. Shift your weight forward so it is your chest coming in between your hands. And push the floor away. Last two. Exhale, inhale. Last one. And coming all the way back up. Tuck your toes, lift up, downward dog. Inhale, high up onto your toes. Bend your knees, look forward. Step in towards your hands. Feet can be hip distance apart or together, whatever feels best. Relax your head down. Inhale, fingertips to shins, lift your spine, take your halfway lift. Draw your shoulder blades down your back. Exhale, melt it down. Relax your hands to the ground. Bend your knees, roll through the spine to come up to standing. Inhale, both hands go wide to the sides, lift them upwards to the ceiling. Exhale, press the hands down, tuck your chin, roll down through the spine. Inhale to take your halfway lift, fingertips to shins, shoulder blades glide down your back. Exhale, melt it down. Hands placed to the ground, step back, downward facing dog. Three deep mindful breaths here. You can breathe in through the nose, exhale side out. Inhale, exhale, let it go. One more deep breath. When you're ready, inhale, float your right leg up to your three-legged dog. The hips are square. Bend at that right knee once again. From here now, we're going to take tiny little pumps up. So the heel lifts to the ceiling. Little squeeze up and up. Remembering here, your supporting leg could be a little bent if you need it. 
squeezing into the backside. Got a couple more here, last two, last one. We hold, keep that contraction through your backside. See if you can melt your chest a little closer to your thigh and almost try and take a back bend into your lower back. Feel that deep stretch through the right hamstring and even calf. Exhale, knee to nose, round your spine, come forward. Step the foot down in between the hands, you're up on your fingertips. Soften through the back knee, tuck your chin. See if you can roll on up, coming into your high lunge from here. Inhale, hands lift to the ceiling. Exhale, close twist, twisting to your right. Backhand finds back of thigh, take your twisted back bend. Moving straight into arrow head, hands windmill, shift your weight forward, arms are reaching back as the crown of the head reaches forward. Can you keep your collarbones open? Can you find the front of your ribs and knit them in towards one another? You're grounding down firmly through that left heel. The back leg is straight. And then we're going to create a little bit of movement through the back knee. So the back knee is going to drop down towards the ground, but your upper body stays the same. Then stretch through the back knee, push through that right heel. So we got a little bend down and lift up. So you should be feeling a lot of work through that right glute muscle. Down and lift up. Then if you'd like to play with a little bit of coordination, you're going to take some arm circles. As you bend your knee, your arms reach forward. As you stretch your legs, your arms circle round back to the start. So the palms are down. We go, reach forward, circle around, draw the shoulder blades towards one another. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Can we do one more? Yes, we can. Awesome work. Coming all the way around to your arrowhead. Hands find the floor. Step the right foot back. Find your plank. Option to drop your knees to the ground. Otherwise, you're going to keep your legs straight. Abdominals are drawing in. Shoulders are over your wrists. Looking good, everyone. So keep shifting your weight forward. Power through the heels at the back. Beautiful. When you're ready, everybody drop your knees to the ground, untuck your toes. Try and find that dialing sensation of spinning your fingers towards your pinkies once again. Bend your elbows and you're coming all the way down to your bellies. Inhale to your baby cobra. We're lengthening through the crown of the head. Exhale, melt it down. Once again in baby cobra, make this come from your core. Abdominals drawing in as you lift your chest away from the floor. And come on down. It's a little tricky to find, but just try and explore. Navel to spine, and then expand and lift. Maybe the hands hover here, and then come all the way down. Navel to spine as you press up through half plank. Tuck your toes, lift up downward dog. Inhale, left leg floats to the ceiling, bending at the knee. The knee stays up very high here, and then we take those little pumps upwards for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We've got a little hold here now. We'll find a little bit of deepening through the chest, dropping it towards your thigh, trying to Arch your lower back even more, so you're lifting your sit bone higher and higher and higher as your heel drops towards the ground. Huge stretch. Knee still up high, and then draw that knee in towards your nose. Step forward in between your hands, up to fingertips. Soften back knee, tuck your chin, locate your center, and roll all the way up, building up from the ground, reaching the hands to the ceiling. When you're ready, close twist, exhale. Twisting to your left. You got it, nice work. Backhand finds back of thigh. Take your twisted back bend. And 
Windmilling to arrowhead. Shift your weight forward. Reach your hands back behind you. Your chest is lifting away from that front thigh. So you have to use your abdominals. Press the arms up. Keep the collarbones broad. And then when you're ready, we're going to take those little knee bends. So the right knee starts to drop to the ground, but your weight is staying shifted forward into that front leg. Lift back up, stretch the back leg. We go for that little lower down. Push through that left heel to come up. So imagining you've got even extra weight as if you're trying to lift up from the ground. That's it, nice work. Down and press up. We've got our arm circles if you want. Hands expand forward and then you're reaching your arms round to the back. Reach the hands forward and come all the way round to the back. Palms down to the ground. Two more like that. Inhale. Exhale, a last one. Inhale and exhale all the way around. Guess what? We're finding the floor. Step back, plank. Always you have the option to lower your knees to the ground. Otherwise, you're going to keep the legs straight. Belly button pulling to spine. We're coming all the way down to our bellies. Chaturanga. This time we're holding on our bellies. You're going to take your hands forward underneath your forehead. So you can just take that like a little cushion. You're taking a little movement through your back, similar to what we did just before, but your hands are going to stay on the ground. Inhale, press the back of your head up to the ceiling. Exhale, come down. Inhale, press on up. And exhale, you come down. Can you keep pressing your pubic bone down into the mat as you do these movements? Can you ask your backside to soften? So we're trying not to squeeze the glutes in this. And then if you like, you're adding on, gluing your hands to your forehead, lifting your arms as well. So it's not a massive lift. We're looking at trying to create space in between the vertebra. So less of a back bend into the lower back, and more about elongating your whole spine. And then on the next one, you're going to lift it up and hold. Maybe circle your arms right back behind you so your palms are down again to the ground. Your hands are lifting up nice and high. Shoulders are rolled back and down. Can you now lift up a little bit higher? Keep the hands high. Maybe you're lifting your legs up a little bit higher too. So now the glutes are engaged with the legs added on. This is called your dart. Guess what? Your core is still engaged. Belly button to spine. Stretch through limbs, through crown of head. Come up a little higher and then come all the way down. Hands back underneath your shoulders. And elbows are pointing back behind you. Press up. Plank or half plank. Tuck your toes and lift up to your downward dog. Three deep mindful breaths. Inhale high up onto your toes. Bend your knees, look forward. Step a hop in towards your hands. Fingertips to shins. Inhale to take your half lift. Weight into your toes. Exhale to melt down. Soften knees, roll up through the spine. Inhale, lift your hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tuck your chin, roll back down the spine. Inhale to take a half lift. Exhale to melt it down. Plant your hands down to the ground. Step back to your downward dog. Inhale, you're floating your right leg to three-legged dog. This time, keep it straight. Hips are still square though, but can you find that same engagement through the back of your thigh and glutes? We're going to go for some single leg heel lifts. So lifting up through the left heel and then push the heel down towards the ground as best you can. Lift it up and press it down. Can we do two more of those? Lift as high as you can. Press it down. Last one. 
and then here pressing it down just to lift back up look forward bend that knee draw it all the way in towards your nose can you round your spine keep hugging belly button to spine there look forward step the foot down in between your hands slowly soften through the back knee we're rolling up high lunge inhale exhale twist to your right backhand finds back of thigh Windmill to dart, or arrowhead rather. So squeezing the shoulder blades. Collarbones open. We go for four circles, bending the back knee, reach your hands forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Imagine your arms are just an extension of your back. Draw the shoulder blades together. Last two. And last one, holding in your arrow head, we've got a little change here now. Can you shift your weight forward into the front leg and start to float the back leg up, coming into your warrior three? You can keep this much higher if you want. So the leg drops down back behind you. You're still trying to find your backside there though. Otherwise you're in that capital T shape position. Chest is lifted, ribs are in. Then you're going to toe heel down to a warrior two. So warrior two, your left foot is pointing to the side of your mat. Your right foot is pointing straight ahead. Your shoulders are stacked over your hips. So this is quite an open position for your pelvis. However, if that front knee is rolling forward and past your big toe, you might need to roll the back hip bone forward a little so you can track your knee in line with the middle toe. Reach your hands out. Maybe look forward and flip the top palm. We're gonna reach forward a little more, maybe a little more, maybe a little bit more, and now paint the ceiling, take it back, exalted warrior. Coming back up to your warrior two. You're going to turn out the left toes, bend into the left knee and cross over. So it's a little bit like a high side lunge. You're opening out to the side and then come back on up. So both toes are pointing out to the diagonals. We go towards the left foot, little twist. Great, come on up. Preggy bellies, if this is feeling too compressed, you don't have to come all the way down. Otherwise, you're coming into even more of a twist, and maybe you look past your hand. So, turning the gaze towards the left hand. Okay, one more twist. And then, we're gonna turn our body all the way to the other side. So both hands come down to frame your left foot. Step back to your plank. If you like, you can flow through to upward facing dog, otherwise baby cobra is fine. Exhale to come halfway down or all the way down. Inhale, press the heart forward. Feet are pressing down. Abdominals are drawing in. Your shoulder blades are squeezing together. Exhale, lift it up, downward dog. Inhale, high up onto your toes. Bend your knees, look forward. Step or hop in towards your hands. Inhale to take a half lift. Exhale to melt it down. Roll through your spine like your Pilates roll up. Inhale, lift the hands up to the ceiling. Exhale down, tuck chin, arms are relaxed, knees are soft as you roll back down. Inhale to take your half lift. Exhale to melt it down. Hands plant down, step back, downward dog. Inhale, left leg straight to three-legged dog. Hips square. We're taking those heel lifts. So we lift up and push the heel down. Right heel lifts and push it down. As far as you can. Last one here. And then we lift straight back up. Hold it there. Back leg is still lifted high. Go ahead and draw that knee in towards your nose, round forward, shoulders over wrists. Look forward, step the foot down. Come up to your fingertips, bend the back knee, roll through your spine to come up to your high lunge. Exhale to twist, close twist, 
towards your left. Backhand finds back of thigh, take it into your back bend. Windmill forward to your arrow head. We have four knee bends with arm circles. Bend the neck, back knee, hands reach forward. Exhale, squeeze it back. Again, reach it forward, bend the back knee. Reach it forward. Again, thinking about your arms expanding from your back body. Huge movement. Was that four yet? One more. <laughs> All right, here we go. Hold it here. Are you ready for your warrior three? Let's go. Lift off, go. So transferring that weight into the front leg comes from the core, from your center. Everything reaching out from there. Preparing for warrior two. Toe, heel, down, windmill it open. Beautiful, everyone. Nice work. Shoulders are stacked over your hips. Remember, the back hip can roll forward a little bit if you're struggling to align your knee over your toes. So we want to keep that front knee nice and safe. Feel that expansion from back body, from center. When you're ready, flip the top palm. We're just going to lean it as far forward as we can. And then go ahead, paint the ceiling as big as you can, all the way back. Gorgeous. Uh, once again, we come on up, warrior two. Then you're lifting up, stretch the front leg, turn your toes out to those diagonals. We're going to the other side of our mat, to that twisted lunge, down towards the ground, and then lift on up. So you're reaching for your right foot now. Look towards the backhand if that feels okay for you. Remember, you don't have to come all the way down. You can keep it a little higher if you like. Otherwise, try and tap down towards those toes. Think of this twist coming from your ribs more than your shoulders. Twist from your rib cage, rib cage, rib cage. Let's go one more. And then you can circle it all the way around. Step back, plank. Remember, knees can drop to the ground if you like. I'm going there. <laughs> if you like, you're going to upward facing dog. Otherwise, baby cobra is fine. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale to take it back to your downward dog. If you need to take child's pose, totally fine. So you can always drop your knees to the ground and take a little break. Otherwise, hold in downward dog. When you're ready, inhale, lift up high to your toes. Look forward, step or hop in towards your hands. Inhale to take your half lift. Exhale to melt it down. Roll through the spine, come to standing. Hands go wide to the sides, lift it up. Tuck your chin, roll down through the spine, straight to your downward duck. Okay. When you're ready, inhale, float the right leg up to three-legged duck. Inhale, high to your toes. Exhale, draw the knee to the nose, shift your weight forward. Step your foot down in between your hands. Up to your fingertips, roll through the spine to come to high lunge. Going a little quicker here, exhale, twist straight away to your right. Back bend to arrowhead. Exhale, swish it forward. Holding it here, let's just take one circle now. Bend the back knee, reach your hands forward. Expand from your shoulders, take it back. Shift your weight forward, warrior three. Lift the back leg high. Hold it here, find the back of your thigh, get your glute to engage. Go ahead, take it to warrior two. Toe, heel down, open it out. Reach forward. Go ahead, paint the ceiling. Lift back to warrior two. Straighten the right leg, twisting towards your left. Look past your hand. Come all the way around. You can keep your hand up now. Left hand has stayed lifted. Preggy bellies, you can join in into a modified side plank with your right knee down to the ground. Otherwise, if you like, you're going to twist all the way around and step your left foot on top of right. So that option for half plank is bottom knee to the ground. Otherwise, if you're feeling really strong, both feet are stacked. 
as you're here, hips are lifted, ribs are in, expand out from your center, and then you're turning all the way around to your plank or half plank. Exhale to come down. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale to take it back to downward dog. Straight to the other side. Inhale, left leg floats. Exhale, knee to nose, round it forward. Step your foot down, roll through the spine, rise out from the earth. Back to arrowhead. I lied, stay there. <laughs> Twist towards your left. Back bend, paint the ceiling there. Now arrowhead. Reach it forward. Get ready for your circle. Bend the back knee, reach the hands forward. Circle it round to the back. Keep the hands where they are, shift your weight forward. Warrior three. Find that power, strength, balance. Take your time. When you're ready, toe heel down, warrior two. Wonderful, good work. We go, reach forward. Paint the ceiling, take it all the way back. Come back, warrior two, then straighten your leg. Turn the back toe out so you can wrap it across to the back. Twisting towards your right. Maybe that right hand stays lifted. Turn your body all the way around. Twist. Back knee could drop. Otherwise, you're going to stack both of your feet one on top of the other. Side plank. So once again, that option to do your modified plank, your knee is down to the ground, your right leg is long. Ribs are in, your hips are stacked. So watch that that right hip bone isn't sinking back in space, push it forward. As you're ready, come to your plank. Exhale to come down. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale to take it back up to find your downward duck. How are we going, everyone? Hanging in there? If you need a child's pose, go ahead, take a child's pose. Otherwise, we've got one more flow. We're going to keep it pacey like that. So when you're ready, we're floating right leg up to three-legged duck. Exhale, knee to nose. Round it forward. Soften through back knee, roll on up. Inhale. Exhale, twist to your right. Backhand thigh, it finds back of thigh. Go to arrowhead. Draw the shoulder blades together. Bend through the back knee, reach your hands forward. Inhale. Exhale, circle it around. Shift your weight forward. Warrior three. Point your back foot, toe, heel, down to warrior two. Reach forward. Paint the ceiling, take it back. Lift on up. Stretch the front leg. Toes are pointing to, ten, uh, to the diagonals. Go ahead and twist to the other side. Look towards the left hand if you like. Turn your body all the way around. Can you find a side plank straight away? Left foot stacks on top of right. Hips are lifted. When you're ready, turn it all the way around. Your flow. Exhale to come down. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale to take it back up. Straight to the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee to nose. Round it forward. Soften back knee. Roll through the spine. Lift. Exhale, twist to your left. Back hand finds back of thigh. Inhale. Exhale, arrowhead. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Bend back knee, reach forward, inhale. Exhale, circle the arms. Shift your weight forward, warrior three. Halt. Toe heel down. Take it all the way back. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, paint the ceiling. We windmill all the way. No, we don't. We come on up. <laughs> come on, turn on out. Twist towards your right. Maybe look to the right hand. And then turn your body all the way around, prepare for your side plank. Step the right foot on top of the left. That right hip bone is pushing forward. 
turn all the way around. Exhale down, chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, take it back. Downward dog. And then everyone, we're going to meet in child's pose when you're ready. Knees to the ground, send your hips back. So your chance here to take a moment, to find your breath, and relax. Let the hips sink heavy. Find your breath and breathe into the back space of your body. Gently when you're ready, you'll come on up onto all fours. Not time to sleep just yet. <laughs> come on over onto your backs when you're ready. Um, preggy belly option, if you like, you'll stay on all fours. And you can take your opposite arm, opposite leg out, and just take some lifts and lowers from there. Otherwise, we're all on our backs. Back to your constructed rest as we started with. So feet flat on the ground, hip distance apart, knees pointing towards the ceiling. Let's place our heels of the hands on our hip bones and the fingertips point down towards your pubic bone. So we're just gonna find our neutral spine. Go ahead and arch your back a lot so you feel like you're making a huge space underneath your lower back. And then we're going to imprint the spine down to the ground so you're flattening your lower back. As you arch your back, notice how your pubic bone drops down lower than your hip bones. As you imprint your spine, notice your pubic bone lifts higher than your hip bones. Can you now just find the place where your pubic bone is at the same level as your hip bones? So this is your neutral spine. It's actually a neutral pelvis, it comes from the hips and then the back moves around that. So we're going to try and maintain this position. I'm gonna ask you also just to try and soften your ribs. And just notice the rib cage drop down into the ground. You could leave your hands here if that helps, otherwise your hands are gonna come down to the side now, and you're pressing your shoulder blades down into the mat. When you're ready, we'll take an inhale to prepare Exhale, pull your navel down to your spine. Inhale, breathe into the sides of your ribs again. Exhale, navel to spine, narrow your waist. Inhale. Exhale. Next, inhale, floats your right leg up to a tabletop position. Exhale, left knee up. Inhale, right foot down. Exhale, left foot down. Then we'll start with the left foot. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right foot. Inhale, left foot. Exhale, right foot. Right foot lifts, inhale. Exhale, left foot. Inhale, right. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. So that's our pattern. Keep moving. Draw more attention to your center. As you're lifting and lowering your legs, we're aiming to keep a sense of compression down of our abdominals. So you might feel like they start to pop up. If possible, can you keep softening the ribs and keep the sense of the abdominals drawing down and in? So you've got that activation from your core. Adding on if you like, your knees will stay in tabletop. You're tapping one toe down, lifting it up, tapping the other toe down, lifting it back up. So we can exhale to go down, inhale to draw up, exhale to go down, inhale to draw up. So this is 
Just advancing on if you're feeling like you have that control. You can add on even further as well. So next stage here now is to lengthen both your legs up to the ceiling. We go exhale to lower, inhale to lift back up. Exhale to lower, inhale to lift back up. So we've lengthened the lever, it's a little more challenging. We definitely don't want the back muscles to be working, so you may need to drop it back down to find and locate that core. So it takes a bit of time to get that working. It might not come straight away. Adding on even further, both legs move down to the ground at the same time and they come back up. So that's probably a bit too strong for me at the moment. I can maybe move down a little bit. If you can come down lower, go ahead and take your legs all the way down. But remember, we're really trying to find that proper engagement of deep core muscles. So just take it at your own pace. Then if you'd like to finish off with a little finale here, you're going to take both your legs down, hold it there. Legs are drawing in towards one another, ribs are staying in, and you're gonna hold for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and draw your knees into your chest, everyone. Just flatten your back in towards the mat. So when you're ready here now, we're going to take a little stretch. Place your left foot to the ground, right ankle crosses over left, and draw that left knee in towards your chest. So figure four here. If you keep your foot flexed, it will protect your knee a little more in that shape. You can really push it into external rotation. And you might find a deeper stretch if you drop your tailbone down. Then you'll place that left foot on the ground. The right foot will lift straight up towards the ceiling, draw it in towards your chest. Grab a hold of wherever feels comfortable. Slide the left leg long if it feels nice. Preggy bellies, you're going to bend your knee and take your knee out wide. Everybody else, bend your knee into your chest. Right hand goes to the side. And then you're going to take that knee across your body into your spinal twist. Draw that knee back in towards your chest and place your feet back down towards the ground. Left ankle crosses over right knee, right knee draws into your chest. Once again, you might like to flex the left foot here and you might find a deeper stretch if you allow your tailbone to anchor back down towards the ground, but keep drawing that right knee into your chest. Left knee is pushing out nice and wide. Allow your right foot to find the floor. And the left leg can extend straight to the ceiling, just grabbing a hold of wherever feels comfortable. Your leg might be a little bent and that's fine. Otherwise, you're trying to stretch it as much as you can and draw it in towards your chest. Right leg goes long, left knee folds in towards your chest, left arm out to the side. Inhale, then exhale, pour your knee across your body.
the pelvis rolls back to the ground, the feet find the floor, back into constructive rest. You can rest your hands once again on your body, maybe on your belly, maybe one hand's on your heart, or your hands can rest off to the side. Go ahead and close down your eyes one more time. And just come back to your breath. So notice the quality of your breath now at the end of class. Notice how you're feeling. If there's anything that's shifted or changed, whether that be physically, emotionally, mentally. And then you can start to send your legs away from you. Reach your hands up and overhead. Perhaps narrow your feet together here. And take one big stretch all the way from your toes to your fingers. Waking the whole body back up. Let it go with a sigh. When you're ready, you can roll to your preferred side. Keeping your eyes closed, if that's okay, make your way up to a seated position. And then if you like, take your hands to prayer at heart center. Find a moment here Noticing your sits bones ground down into the earth. And from there, a sense of elongation of your spine skyward. You could gently bow your chin to your fingers. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. A humble namaste. You can open your eyes and maybe turn on your microphones if you want to say hello. Thanks so much for coming and doing this first Zoom class with me. <laughs> How are you all feeling? Amazing. You're welcome. That was Claire. Good work. My pleasure, Luke, and I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> You're welcome, Tilly. Do you want to bring Tilly in, Tom? <laughs> okay, that's all right. <laughs> bring her in anyway, it's fine. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah. Uh, okay, go, go, go. <laughs> Okay, bye. Nice to see the babies too. <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye. Here's Tilly <laughs> and Mowgli. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> All right, see ya. Um, if any of you have any, um, I wouldn't mind any feedback with time and whether you like the style. Yeah? Oh, great, Lindy. Good to see you here.